What's up guys, how you guys doing today? So today guys, don't be afraid to be different to have some fun and be yourself guys, but it is currently after three, almost four o'clock, and today I work from five until close, so like nine, nine thirty, roughly about that. And um pretty much I've just been relaxing today, not doing much, but uh next week um, Wednesday is when I move in to my, my, uh, college dorm, um, my residence, so that should be exciting, um, and I'm, I'm actually really excited for that, but, um, pretty much I'm moving in, but, like, I'm not staying there, cause my first class is on the 21st, so I'll move in like that, uh, that Sunday or Saturday or something like that. Um, and then my orientation is on the 18th, which is, it is online, and, but pretty much, um, today I've been watching, uh, Family Guy, they came out with their new season, season 18, I'm on episode 8, um, and, uh, I just, I really love Family Guy, it's, it's funny, and it's just like a good show to, like for comedy and just for entertainment. So I've been watching that today and then just um, just pretty much chilling. But yeah, so um, I have been checking, like, of course, my Twitter um, has been, like, I follow the, uh, like, Hip hop and stuff like that. Um, so Big Sean is releasing Detroit 2 uh, tonight at midnight. Um, Lil Durk is dropping The Voice. I, I believe it's an album uh, again. Um, and then let's see. I know the Internet Money album has been doing amazing, which. Um, I'm really happy for them because I, they're like my favorite producers and they're just absolutely amazing and I don't know, I just really love the internet money sound and so, I don't know, it seems not much music is coming out today, um, besides pretty much Big Sean and Lil Durk on the albums that I'm gonna listen to. Other than that, that's all, pretty much. I listened to the new Bryson Tiller song and uh, it, it's really good. Um, and he has a new album coming out uh, apparently in the fall. And then so if we go to um, Big Sean's album, there are 21 songs on the album. You have features from Nipsey Hussle, Post Malone, Ty Dolla Sign, uh, Jen Iko, Dave Chappelle. Um, I believe that's like a, like an interlude. Um, and then you have Dwell. You have Anderson .Paak, uh, Early Mac. You have Whale, uh, Young Thug, and Hit Boy produced that. Uh, then you have Travis Scott, uh, Key Wayne, and Diddy. Uh, 2088, Erica Badu, I believe that's also another, uh, like, interlude, um, and then a feature from Lil Wayne, Friday Night Cypher is, has a bunch of people on it, uh, you have T Grizzly, Cash Doll, Cash Kid, Payroll, 42 Doug, uh, Boldy, James, Drago, uh, Sada Baby, Royce59, and Eminem, um, if I go out on a limb, I might say that's like a whole Detroit collaboration because I, I know 42 Doug is from Detroit. I know Eminem is from Detroit. Um, I'm not sure if T Grizzly is from Detroit. Uh, yeah, so he's from Detroit. Um, so I think I'm right on saying that, that it's like a whole um, Detroit collaboration. Cash Doll is from Detroit as well. Um, Cash Kid, most likely from Detroit then, um, I can, where is it, Cash Kid, let's search this up, Cash Kid, 
Gotta be from... No, it doesn't say. Um... Uh, so... I'd assume that... So they all... So it's like a big Troy collaboration. Uh, and then you have Story by Stevie Wonder, so I assume that's another... Um... Another interlude, and then... Another f a feature from Dom Kennedy. So, uh... I'm pretty excited for that and stuff like that. But another big thing is that uh, ASAP Ferg has been kicked out of ASAP Mob, which is is kind of crazy. Um, but it's like allegedly kicked out because there's only there's been like conflicting things said about it. Um, but you know what can you do? But like ASAP Ferg was like a big part of ASAP on the upcoming uh ASAP Yams um and Rocky like they were I know there's like other people that are in like in with fashion and stuff like that um to create like the V the Vlon uh company and stuff like that but those those three are like the biggest ASAP members to me even though uh Yams passed away um and so I don't know, it's kind of crazy to kick out Ferg, but I'm gonna go back to watching Family Guys, so I'll catch you guys sometime later. So it is now the next day, and I got home from work around uh like 9 40 something and and then i um i got fries from swiss chalet and then i've been making a garlic parmesan sauce because we've been making homemade uh chicken wings and so i tossed my fries in this garlic parmesan sauce and it was like amazing and i i it was just absolutely amazing but it is like a okay day outside it, it's like cooler today it kind of looks like it's gonna rain but it is what it is i work today again f with john from five until close he works from five till eight depending on how busy it is he might stay to close as we did last friday but I've been following this artist for a little bit now, probably since September of 2019, uh, and the artist is uh, 24K Golden. It might be a little bit before that, but when Valentino was popping, that's when I first heard of 24K Golden, and then I started watching, um, um, what's it called? It was, uh, it was the, that Netflix series that I was watching, um, I think I actually forgot what it's called. Um, oh shoot, if I, I it's on Netflix, I know, I know, I'll find it, um, I don't know how I could forget that it was one of my favorite series. I stopped watching it, like, a while ago, uh, cause I finished it a bunch of times. Um, it's a Netflix original. Um, let me see if I can find it. Um, let's see. Um, oh, why can't I find it? No, and it's probably in my list. Uh, On my block, there you go. Jeez, that was bad. That was, it's, it's been one of my favorites. I like that show a lot. Um, but they used the 24K, in gold, 24K Golden Song in, I believe, season three called Working. Uh, this 24K Golden Song, um, and, it, and it's a really good song. It came after Valentino, and it, it came before his little, um, he, it came before, it was like September of uh, 2019, and it came before his little album, I guess what you'd call it that. Um, it's like, I guess like a mixtape thing, and I, I have the original one saved, 
the one where it just has eight songs with Dropped Out of College, uh, The Gram, My Bed, City of Angels, Valentino, Game, Games on Your Phone, Been Here Before, and A Lot to Lose. Because the new one uh, has like 10 songs with the addition of City of Angels remix and Valentino remix. But the reason we are talking about 24K Golden today is because I made a prediction um, in one of my books here. In this book, I made a prediction in like March or something like that when, when like the virus was at the peak because I was bored one day and this was when uh, City of Angels started to pop off and so I made a prediction and so what I wrote if I could find it so this is all about music my music and because so I have like album concepts and stuff like that dreams and nightmares uh, okay, maybe it's not in this book. It might be in... Ah, uh, it's in this one. Okay. It's like my... Th my thoughts or whatever or whatnot. Um, so... Let me see. Yeah, so it's my thought book. So... I have favorite rappers. They are still ex exactly the same, believe it or not. Um... And then underrated rappers. These are all... Under at the time, these are all the underrated rappers I've found, and there are a lot more now. But so, 24K Golden, uh, March 24th, uh, 2020, I wrote uh, 20, about 24K Golden. So I wrote my favorite songs by him are Valentino, of course, A Lot to Lose, and Working, and and then I wrote he blew up. Uh, in 2019 with his song Valentino and I love that song then on November 22nd 2019 he dropped an album called dropped out of college and that album slapped hard I knew from there that he had a lot of potential and recently his song City of Angels is blowing up it has 40 48 million streams my prediction is that Valentino will not be his biggest song Valentino has 139 million streams right now and it won't be City of Angels either so that was a huge prediction because right now City of Angels has 166 million streams and Valentino has 206 million streams but I saw the potential of 24k golden and I wrote this down because I wanted to come back and look at this to this day and recently or not recently, he released a song with Ian Dior called Mood and that has 86 million streams and climbing every single day with like 10 million streams like pretty much or 5 to 10 million streams every day so it has 86 million like I said City of Angels has 166 million and Valentino has 206 million which is absolutely crazy I, I know this might be a little bit obvious to say that he was gonna be big like this, but like people, other people could have seen this coming. But Mood is his biggest song till this date because Valentino peaked at um, number 38 on November 16, 2019, and City of Angels peaked at number 54 on billboard at um on april 18 2020 and mood peaked i guess tomorrow um because it's the fourth today uh peaked at number five on september 5th 2020 and and of course this might be obvious to some people that 24k golden was blowing up and but i had a feeling that valentino wouldn't be his biggest song because he has so much potential and I just believed in him and it's kind of crazy to see that my prediction kind of was right and he's releasing a new album soon and uh, actually I don't know if it's soon or not but it should be soon is what he said from uh, from his uh, 
double XL freestyle and not to mention he was on double XL freshman class which is huge because for him because he is like an artist coming up and like he's just kind of, I say he's blowing up because he also has like 22 million uh, monthly listeners and to get double XL to, to get like more publicity out there for you is huge so his um his his I guess his debut studio album is going to be called El Dorado and um I f I'm pretty sure I forget what it means but I'm, I think it means golden or something um or I forget what he what he said it was what does El Dorado mean um so it's a place of fabulous wealth and um I think that's what he what he wants to be because I, I know 24k golden's real name is golden which I thought that was kind of cool um so yeah his real name is golden and so he's I thought that was kind of cool but so the songs off of supposedly off of uh, El Dorado so far are mood and the other one released is unbelievable uh, featuring Cash Page and both of those are amazing songs uh, Unbelievable is kind of underrated um, and I, it's a really good song as well because if I go to Spotify again um, where is it um, Unbelievable only has 3 million streams which is kind of crazy but um Believe it or not, I was watching, um, like, a, whenever the Genius interview about uh, City of Angels came out, he, 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 he like, they, his, uh, um, I'd say, his label, which is, um, if I could find it again, I believe it's Columbia, if I'm wrong, I believe it's Columbia, um, let's see. Let's see, yeah, so his label Columbia Records did not want, didn't believe that City of Angels was going to be a hit, but Golden himself believed that it was a hit, so he pushed it so far that it would blow up on TikTok, and then I, did, which I thought that was kind of interesting, that like his label really didn't believe in him that that song was going to be another hit for him but he believed in himself um a like enough that he could push that song which i thought that was another crazy story about him but i know like i said this might be obvious that he was going to be popular and i just thought that it was kind of crazy and that i wrote this months ago but yeah, so I guess I kind of predicted 24k in 24k golden success. <laughs> Today is the day I move into residence, but not actually move in. I just will not stay, but I move in, and then I actually go on like the 20th of September until like Thanksgiving. So today is the actual day I move in, so I'm really excited. But anyway, I'll catch you guys in residence. <music>
I don't even know, several days later, something like that, and I just got back from work, but this whole video was about 24K, 24K golden success and how I predicted it, and just to give you a little bit of an update on how well, um, of how well uh, Mood has has been doing, uh, it is certified gold, and uh, City of Angels is also certified gold, but Valentino is certified platinum, and I believe Mood will be certified platinum very soon. But the last time I recorded, Mood was under, I think, under 100 million streams. And now Mood has 151 million streams and climbing by the day. It had 145 million yesterday. So that's kind of crazy. It might, it's Tuesday right now. And so it might be close to 200 million streams by the end of this week. And uh, also, Little Tekka is dropping a new album on um, Friday, Virgo World, which I'm excited for, and I'm gonna give it a listen. the The two or the three lead singles off of it have been really good, in my opinion. Uh, Out of Love, Royal Rumble, and Our Time have been really good singles released off of it. So I'm really excited to hear the album and just to see what it sounds like. But anyway, I'm probably gonna have to end off this video here. So I'd basically like to thank you guys so much for watching and I do hope you guys enjoyed. And if you'd like to watch another video guys, please subscribe to my YouTube channel to turn on my post notifications and smash that like button. Smash. See you guys, guys. Peace out. I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. <laughs> no cap. I'm the one out of the two. <laughs>